hello students this is our third part of our first chapter of ncert book uh, that is the last lesson in the earlier two lectures we had studied about this chapter uh, a little boy is going to the school and he is late for the school after reaching the school he learns from the professor or you can say teacher that uh, that this is going to be the last lesson of the of the school in french because after that they will be uh, forced to study german and uh, the experience of the of the child uh, regarding the teacher and uh, and the end of the fact that his province alsace was captured by the germans has been ex has been described in the chapter so now let us start after the grammar we had a lesson in writing that day am himmel had new copies for us written in a beautiful round hand france alsace france alsace they looked like little flags floating everywhere in the school room hung from the top of hung from the rod at the top of our desk you ought to have seen how everyone set to work and how quiet it was the only sound was scratching of the pens over the paper once some beetles flew in but nobody paid any attention to them not even the Littlest ones who worked right on tracing their fishes, as if it was French too. On the roof of the, on the roof, the pigeons cooed very low, and I thought to myself, will they make them sing in German, even the pigeons? So, in the paragraph, uh, in the paragraph, the writer has described. Uh, about the atmosphere of the classroom at that time and uh, the teacher m himmel had given new copies to the students in which it was written friends alsin and friends alsin and uh, everyone was busy doing their work and uh, there was no sound over there everything was very quiet only the sound of scratching of the pens over the paper and everyone doing their task was there the beetles even the beetles came in and the students did not put any attention on them they were busy with their own work and um, for once the author looked at the pigeons who cooed very low and thought that will they even make the pigeon sing in german so this are the thoughts of the author now let us move ahead to the next paragraph whenever i looked up from my writing i saw m himmel sitting motionless in his chair and gazing first at one thing and then at another as if he wanted to fix in his mind just how everybody looked in that little school room fence for 40 years he had been there in the same place with his garden outside the window and his class in front of him just like that so now the author is describing the teacher Uh, the teacher is very emotional right now uh, because this is going to be his last lesson and after that he has to move on to uh, to the countryside because uh, he has served for 40 years in the classroom as a teacher and also there are many memories uh, attached with the students and the class so uh, there was also a garden outside the window and which is described in the later part of the paragraph so now let us see what is that 
Only the desk and the benches had been worn smooth. The walnut trees in the gardens were taller, and hope wine that he had planted himself twinned about the windows to the roof. How it must ma must have broken his heart to leave it all, poor man, to hear his sister moving about in the room above, packing their trunks, for they must leave the country next day. So, here the desk and the benches have been described that they have been worn out. The walnut trees have grown uh, far taller uh, and uh, the teacher had planted a hope vine, correct? And uh, now it has also grown. All this has been described to show that the teacher has spent his life almost over here teaching the students. And now it is very difficult emotionally for the teacher to, to leave the country the next day. Now, moving ahead to the next paragraph. But he had the courage to hear every lesson to the very last. After the writing, we had a lesson in history. So, uh, the teacher has been described over here. That teacher had the courage to cope up with the situation. And uh, the teacher took a lesson in history after the writing lesson. Then the babies chanted their Babi by Bobu. Down there at the back of the room, old Hosser had put on his spectacles. The picture of the old Hosser has been given over there and holding his primer in both hands spelled the letters with them. You could see that he too was crying. He was also very emotional at that moment. His voice trembled with emotion. It was so funny to hear him that we all wanted to laugh and cry. All the students were also very emotional at that time. They were laughing as well as crying. Ah, how well I remember it, the last lesson. So the les lesson is remembered by all the students and of course the author. We will end the lecture for today. Thank you.